fled takes place during the potato famine of Ireland. It drove you to petty theft and then led you on Spike Island, shackled and shoeless. The game is set with room tiles here, the starting yard tile here with a guard on it. Each player will have a character and matching bunk tile of the same color in front of them with the reference tiles next to it. The governor tile will also go to this side with the whistle on it and next to him you will randomly place four roll calls tiles with the windows closed except the tile next to the governor's. Now each player will draw five room tiles to form their hand and finally each player will connect their bunker tiles to the yard with their meeple on their beds. You're now ready to start your escape. Your objective here is to collect victory points and contraband, which you can trade in for tools that will allow you to escape the outer walls. Your turn has only three simple steps. Place a tile, place two more tiles in various ways, and replenish your hand. Let's take a look at the tile placement. The golden rule here is that you must place a tile with a golden scroll if you have one. You must also connect tiles in a way that makes sense. So no placing of doors adjacent to windows, well, that's just weird. The forest must make the perimeter of the prison, which is six spaces away from the yard. If you can't place a tile because of these rules, you can play it to the right of the governor, which makes up his inventory. If you place a room with a guard, moon, or chaplain icon, place the meeple on that tile. If there is a moon, the window closes and the next one opens. This shows the passage of time. More on that later. Next, you must play two more tiles in various ways. You can discard a tile to do its effect or use its tools. The summary card shows you what the tools and effects are. A key makes you move to the next room through any door. A spoon makes you dig through tunnels. A shoe makes you move through archways. A file makes you move through windows. And a whistle makes you move the guards three spaces in total through pathways, not windows. If you use the whistle, move it to the left. If a guard moves into a room with a prisoner, they remove a card from their hand and put it to the left of their summary card, making them shackled with a minus one victory point. If they were already shackled, add that tile to the governor's inventory and move that prisoner back to their bunk. If solitary confinement is part of the prison, you will move there first before moving to your bunk, losing a turn in doing so. However, the chaplain is here to help you. If he lands on a tile with a prisoner, he will remove your shackles, if you have one, and even trade contraband with you. You'll be able to hold on to the contraband on the right side of your player board, three max, but if you have a lucky shamrock, you can hold four. To escape, you need to get close to the forest and use either the tools on the left side of the icon or the tools on the right side of the icon, if the whistle is on the open window tile of the governor's room. At the end of your turn, you will replenish your hand back to five, and if you want to draw one of the governor's tiles, you can do so. The game ends when a player can't replenish their hand. If no one escaped, you calculate victory points to see who did their best attempt. If you did escape, your turn ends, and you flip your player board, giving you five points. And everyone else gets one more turn to try and escape or collect victory points. Points, as I said, are given to you by buying contrabands and, of course, escaping. The values written on the yard tile here and matching the colors will give you a quick total of victory points. And the player with the most is the winner, even if they did not escape. Fled is a great game with some Euro style gameplay and take that elements. You also have a good tactical choice and strategy to choose from on your turn. Not to mention that the prison is different every game. The artwork and icons were great for this multilingual game and can be played by all levels of gamers. Check out FLED on crowdfunding platforms or in stores when it comes out, and the link is in the description of the video. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming group. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.